Hey guys, alright? It's uh, Brett from IBMA. How's it going? Um, and I, um, I'm just doing another, try and, try and do a few of these hangout slash question and answer um, sessions for, for anyone who like follows the channel. Um, they're, they're intermittent. Um, I'm planning on trying to do a few more like set up ones on, on Patreon and stuff for those guys. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, so, uh, so yeah, by all means, if you've got any questions or, or stuff like that, that you want to, want to post to me, then, um, yeah, just please do, do post them through. I uh, got a few thumbs up already there. So that's cool. Uh, today's training, um, I don't know if you guys saw, you might've seen on the Iron Body Martial Arts Facebook page. Um, and there's some videos coming out. Oh, actually, I just posted a video on the, on the chain punching and stuff. Um, so that was today's uh, training, um, as well as some other shin conditioning and stuff like that. Um, people, um, oh. uh, hey, it's, uh, it's old, uh, it's old blah howge again. Uh, no worries, bud. Um, yeah, you don't have to rack your brains to think of a question. Um, but yeah, uh, good to see you again. Um, yeah, so people see me do a lot of, um, see me do a lot of sort of, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe old style or rigid style uh, conditioning, striking and whatever. But I just wanted to put on this chain punching video um, today that I put up just to, just to sort of remind people that there's many, many different kinds of punching. Um, and even within the 72 Secret Arts of the Shaolin, like the training manual, if you read a lot of the training techniques, and within martial arts in general, um, you know, you've, you're expected to punch a lot of different ways. You know, so there isn't just one way of punching. So, um, so you know, some styles will latch on to a single way and they will make that their core, um, their core effort. But, um, but you, you don't have to do that and actually you know, you, you need to, or in my opinion, you need to have a, a, an amount of different uh, styles of punching and strikings that you can do, um, which, which, which will best suit you. So, and that will activate different kinds of muscles. You know, if you're, if you're doing these rolling chain punches, um, you know, you're using, the, you're using a kind of twisting, um, twisting tumbling motions, good for the core. You know, you're really working off that um, concentric motion in the body. You're working a different kind of power, and you'll you'll probably see that a lot of martial arts and a lot of different styles have their variations of that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, that's um, so that's that. So, by all means, if you've got you know, even if you're a karate practitioner and you're using your makiwara, um, you know, don't feel oh, you don't need me to tell you this, but but don't feel um, don't feel you need, you know, your master to then show you this particular style of, of punching power generation to just give it a go. Do you know what I mean? Because many people train like, you know, they'll train traditional Okinawan styles and they'll train karate and they'll train stuff like that. And they'll only train one way and they'll never explore other ways on their, on their own. You know, so it's a good idea to explore other ways on your own because one day you'll be standing there in the lesson or whatever or you'll meet another instructor and he punches in a different way. Natasha Anderson has said, do you train or teach the Yi Jin Jing? Um, yeah, I do train. The, I, um, there's, there's, there's an exercise um, um, there's an exercise called the um, oh well, I'm, I'm saying the Badua Jin here, but mm, similarities. But there's, um, there's an exercise, it's the bone and tendon metamorphosis. That's what you're talking about with the Yi Jin Jin. Now there's an exercise, in, one of the preparatory exercises in the 72 Secret Arts of Shaolin called uh, the four part exercise. And that's similar to the eight pieces of the brocade. Um, so yeah, I, I do train those, um, which 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 I include in my training regime. I don't put them up as much here, um, but but yeah, personally, I will train those things and variations of them. You know, you, you you know what you've got. You've got the old catching and striking, yeah, and you can do that a number of different ways. You can do it quite vigorously, catching and striking, or 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 for Natasha. Um, you, you know, as you know, you can do a real big, what they call Chan Su Shao, 
um, probably I'm pronouncing it terrible, but it's the reeling. You can do the real, uh, real slow reeling and pushing and really get the focus there. And of course you've got the concentric raising of the sky. Although I like to, um, uh, if I can put the camera here, uh, as you asked, when, when, I, when I do that, when I do the raising the sky, I like to, oh, you probably can't see it actually, but I like to, um, I like to breathe in and as I raise, it's probably can't see it, but I just give it a tilt in the hips here. Yeah, pushing the dantian forward. And I crimp, and when I, you, it's probably very hard to see, but if you, if you practice it, you'll know what I mean. And when I collapse, I again push the dantian forward and raise the sky, and raise the sky. I mean, I don't, I don't put things up here as much like that. I might, I might put it more on the, on the closed communities. Um, um, so, someone's asked how to train our own body, so I'll answer that in a, in a second. Um, so I might put that more in the closed communities because, you know, even here on YouTube, you put that out there and, um, and you know, people start flaming it and stuff like that. And also, then you start to think, well, if these people are going to flame it, you know, why should we show it to them? Um, you know, it's sad to say, but, you know, if they're going to flame it, why show it to them? Because, um, you know, all the MMA fa fanboys come on it and they're like, oh, why are you doing those silly things? But, yeah, in answer to your question, Natasha, I do chain the Yi Jing Jing and aspects of it. Um, so someone's just asked, how do you train iron shirts? So, well, I'll try and answer that in a second. Um, for... For the Yi Jing Jing we were talking about the bone and tendon metamorphosis, one of my favorites and from the, uh, from the similarly from the four part exercise, one of my favorites is just the, if I can put it here, so there's a lot of moving in this camera, but I was just going to talk, but, but you kind of, so one of my favorites is the, is the old, um, is the old, uh, the arrow, yeah, reaching, reaching, yeah, and it's actually done slightly differently depending on, on, like in the Bada Jin, it is specifically, as you probably know, the, the, re, the reeling. But, but the main, and then sometimes you see it done with this leg being bent here. But the main thing I like about it, and from the four part exercises, is um, the main thing I like about it actually, is the feet. The feet and legs are what important. So it's different in the four part exercise, which is basically, taken from the bar, bar dry gene, it's similar, because in the four part exercise, um, it's a push off, so it's from, it's from rider stance, in Mabu, breathing in through the nose, and it's a push off on the back leg, and a push on the front, yeah? And then a turn, and a push off, yeah? And you guys, if you do come through, you'll probably know this hook hand. But, People might think, well, what the hell does that do? But the hands don't actually matter too much. They're there to keep you in alignment. It's, it's the legs that matter, yeah? So equally, you can train it just by taking this posture. Your hands will probably do something similar. Bring it back to the middle, taking this posture. Bring it back to the middle, taking this posture. Bring it back to the middle, taking this posture. And it's just this, this fluid movement of the legs, um, which, 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 is, um, which is like the key to the movement. So yeah, the bar, we were talking about the bar so there's the, there's the raising the sky, and there's ways of doing that. Um, but, but actually, I, yeah, sorry. Um, I didn't want to, I, I, did, I didn't want to make this about going into those. In fact, just to, just to mention actually, because it's funny you should mention the Bardajin. Someone just mentioned the Bardajin because I saw um, Jake Mace did like a live cast where he was doing the Bardajin. Um, and obviously, look, these exercises are all people's personal thing. So if you do them, that's great. Um, and Jake Mace did a, a set of them on his live cast, but um, Personally, I just have to say, you know, this is not even my personal opinion, you know, nothing against the guy, but
but personally, um, you know, I don't know. He, there were there was a few aspects of of some things that he was doing that were, um, although they're similar, they were a bit. They they looked a bit strange for for what it was meant to be that he was showing. Um, for instance, there's one of the, one of the exercises. Um, I'll show you guys now. Um, Oh, it's crappy with this camera. Uh, one of the exercises is it's like it's similar to what we're doing there, but it's 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 a it's a horse stance, and you go here all the way here, and the, the idea is to get your back. So sorry, you guys won't see. I wasn't going to do this, but I feel like helping people out. So the idea is to get your back straight like this and then you come all the way around and you bend your neck and you go all the way down into the turtle and then you extend up all the way the other side and you raise the neck and you turn all the way opposite and you go all the way down again and you breathe out breathe in Breathe out, really stretch the spine, breathe in, and such sim something similar to this, yeah, so there's probably no one watching at that point, but, but yeah, so I saw, I mean I don't mean to nitpick, but I saw Jake Mace doing something kind of like a crouch, and he was sort of twisting left like this. And he was twisting right, and hey, that's old Jerry from Karate Tetsute. Thanks, bud. But yeah, anyway, you can see what that does is it. Even if you do it rudimentarily, it's it's building that connection to the to the ground and the spine, and you're pulling the lower spine, stretching it out, allowing you to be able to flex that, that like core and dantian with other things when you're doing the raising the sky and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, sorry guys, I wasn't meaning to, to get onto that, but someone mentioned the, the Bada Jin or the Yi Jin Jing, his tendon, uh, and, and met them, these bone and tendon changing methods and that's all they are they're um they're not magic they're just like you know like sinewy yoga kind of like stretches um so oh natasha well uh, natasha uh, anderson hunt um please um i don't know what your i don't look i don't know if that's helped um or i don't know what your understanding of the yi jin jing is but look Definitely, um, from my from my point of view, you've probably you've possibly even got a better understanding than me of it. But from my point of view, I do do them. Um, there's there's a number of different variations, but we all the, you know within kung fu, there's you know there's there's pushing, there's there's like raising there's like uh, raising and suspending the pot, there's pushing the sky, and then you know adjusting the three heaters and all that you know. Um, but gen generally, and the legs. Uh, the leg postures that we just showed, but generally it's um it's 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 just uh, nice sort of exercises for bending and flexing and stretching different parts of the body, um, and, and and that connection as well because if you've got the if you've got yourself fully stretched left, and then you take yourself in a big movement where you're putting pressure on the back of the spine and you fully stretch right. You know, it's just they're nourishing. That's why when you see the translations and stuff, because I don't know Chinese, but when you see the translations and how it's written, it's like, you know, the nourishing exercises there. And you can see why, because, you know, it's about, it's about you know, the tendon, um, your tendon and fascia um, circulation uh, is slightly less than your muscles. Um, so you need to sort of work them and wash them and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, sorry, man, I, I, spent, too, I spent too long on that. Uh, I think I missed some questions there. Someone said, "How how do you train iron body?" Um, well, uh, look, iron body is an extensive topic. Um, uh, someone did ask me to do. Oh, uh, someone did ask me to do a video about um, sleeping on the floor because they were like, "Look, have you ever slept on the floor to train iron body?" Now, 
truthfully, I actually slept on the floor for literally between, I've forgotten now, but it, it, was, it was between three and five years. So for that very reason, I did away with my bed to, to, to start the preparatory exercises of training iron body, yeah? And I did in fact sleep on the floor for at least three years, probably more. Um, well, I lived in Belgium for three years, so that's at least three and then I came to the UK. The only reason I had to stop actually guys is because I met my girlfriend or my ex-wife uh, and I had to sleep on a bed. So, so for, from the age of about 18, 19, 20, 21, for about four years, I think it would be, I slept on the floor. Um, so yeah, I, I slept like on a carpet on the floor or I put down like a thin, uh, a thin like um, just a thin cover, like a duvet, well not even a duvet, um, I just used to sleep on a carpeted floor, yeah, um, because you need something to take the cold away, but, um, but it was great, and that's a great way to start iron body training, is to sleep on hard surfaces. Now I haven't, I haven't slept on the floor for, for a number of years, well I have every now and then, but what I would say from my honest experience of doing it is it's a very hard thing to do to actually have a, a night's sleep on the floor. Um, this is coming from honest and true, um, and I'm not lying when I say I did it for at least four years. Um, if you've ever tried it, you start to get like pressure, um, you start to get, um, yeah, just precious points that you just can't get away from, you know, and they, 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 you know, but you get used to it. That's all I can say. And some advice, what I should have done is if I wanted to do it, um, cause in the 72 secret arts of the Shaolin, it just says like lie on a hard place. So it, what I should have done is I should have put like a duvet down. So that's what you can probably do is your duvet that you sleep on top of, put that down on the floor if your floor isn't carpet already and then lie on that and sleep on that with like a pillow. Um, someone's asked you about the diet, so we'll, we'll Uncle Jim, Uncle Jim, yeah, you can ask whatever, bud, whilst I'm blabbing on about sleeping on the floor. Um, so yeah, anyway, but that's just the beginning of training iron body. Yeah, so sleeping on the floor is, is great, yeah? So then we've got two separate methods as well, y you know, because, um, so if anyone wants to know anything or anything else about the beginning of Iron Body and silly things like sleeping on the floor that I did for four years, just ask. Um, but, um, but yeah, in, in summary, what I did say is, um, you, you, I didn't do this, but I should have. I should have put like a duvet down and slept on that first. And it would have started to get my body a bit better. Yeah, Uncle Jim says it. Yeah, well, there we go, yeah. It, it's, I know it's crazy, man. Like you, you, I mean, you're probably joking, but, but there's like homeless people and they have to sleep on the floor. And it's like, we've got a home. Why would we be silly enough to get a floor? But, but there we go. Inadvertently, these poor uh, homeless people who are having to sort of sleep rough, sleep on hard surfaces, inadvertently, their bodies are getting toughened, tougher than some of us and by the fact that they're sleeping on these hard surfaces. If there's one benefit of sleeping on the floor, I can tell you for the last years, uh, but I don't do it anymore, is that you can sleep anyway. You know, like, like even now, if I wanna, this floor's hard, um, this floor's a hard floor. If I wanna just have a sleep, I can just put my hand down and I'll just be able to sleep on the floor because even these years later, I'm used to, um, I'm just used to sleeping on the floor. But anyway, we'll, we'll go past that now. Iron body is a, like a big topic. I'm not the greatest iron body master. I just do a bit of training myself. Uh, Shifu uh, Yang Li, who's on here, he's he's demonstrates awesome iron body. But there's also different types. There's there's the there's the there's the because there's a lot of it mentioned in the um, 72 secret arts of the Shaolin. So there's the there's the striking the muscular and external types. And then you've got like the internal types with like the golden bell and where it's more about like belly breathing. Um, and there's different sounds you can make um, to, to, to sort of contract the ribs and, and the organs and the lungs and stuff like that and, and give your body like a better ability to repel strikes. Um, but it's difficult, iron body. Like for instance, just the other day I was showing some of the students 
um, like a, a posture, um, and, I, and I went into a posture to uh, expecting a strike to this muscular area in the ribs, and uh, one of the guys has kicked a little bit low and just hit me in the in the floating rib, which which didn't um, luckily it, it it didn't hurt me then. I felt it go, you know, I felt it permeate through, and I was like, oh shit, because he, he hooked low by mistake, but that doesn't matter. Um, I, I put myself out there to be struck, so my fault. Um, and uh, his leg got hurt. Uh, what are you? Ah, oh, cool. MJB. Hey, MJB. Well, thanks for following the channel, bud. I've been on YouTube for five years. Um, the main point of it was to document just the training. You know, just just kung fu and martial arts training. Um, and just, just document it basically and inadvertently along the way people have asked stuff and but that was the whole point it's just like a sharing platform you know I'm not saying this is the way um, and so yeah but yeah Wing Chun's a good style I've got, I've got respect for Wing Chun quite a lot of people from Wing Chun come over to, to this channel here um, and, and they some you know because we all pick and pluck at bits and pieces of each other's stuff um, and they quite often a lot of them just want to have a help with a bit of the stance work and stuff like that because Wing Chun is a very specific posture of stance that is used from like Kung Fu um, so so yeah I sometimes help out with that and her Uncle Jim Donnie Yen is the master yeah Donnie, yeah, Donnie Yen's Donnie Yen's pretty cool um, so um, what were we talking about before um, uh, so yeah anyway Iron Body so look guys I've got Yeah, um, I, I've with regards to Makiwara, I've I've gone and done the cheapo, and uh, I just bought one of those like shop bought springboard Makiwaras. I've got it here. So hey, we're getting a lot of people, um, a lot of people on this one. Uh, but yeah, here it is. It's just a springboard Makiwara, and yeah, it's not the best Makiwara. Um, you guys know what it is. It's just a springboard. You could you could make one easy yourself by getting a piece of wood and then chopping bits into it like this. Um, so so, but yeah, it's it's all right. You, you, I, I want to make a proper makiwara in my garden, and when when I do that, I'll I'll do a video about it. It's it's pretty good. Most people use concrete, but you can actually use you just use fine grit gravel. But you need a long board. You need like an eight foot board, and you bury it about five and a bit six foot into the ground. So you've got two three feet underground, um, and then you um, you know you put it gravel. But I, I'll when I do that, I'll. Get onto it, but if you've got a sandbag, that's the same. Um, you know, you can use a sandbag and stuff like that. It's all, it's all good. Um, and yeah, you can use you can use a number of various things. Uh, I can hear the dogs outside. So so yeah um, so yeah, I was using the Makiwara today. Uh, it's got another day. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, um, Mr. Hussein has come on there. All right, bud. Um, it's awesome at the amount of martial artists that use so many different ways. You know, I love using so many different ways. You know, when I was when I was um, when I was about 15, I had my boxing bag that was full of gravel and sand, and I also had my Wing Chun sandbag um, with sections. You know, one had sand, one had sand and gravel, and one had just gravel. And the just gravel one, I like barely ever hit um, back then. But yeah, I used to place it down on a bench, and I used to do the iron palm strikes on it and stuff like this. Um, and I used to, so, so, sorry, someone, someone's here is asking about the iron fist training and stuff like that. So we're, we're getting onto that. So I used to put the sandbag down and I just used to do the, the you know, the strikes on it. Um, and then I just hang it on the wall and also do like the chain punches. Um, cause I was, I was talking about the chain punches before. Um, look guys with, with iron fist and iron palm, the main thing about it is consistency and, and actually shouting helps um, you know, it depends what kind of shouting you do um, because like you, you make a noise like ha yeah and you see what it does ha yeah ha so there's different sounds there's like ho 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 to tighten the inside there's like ha which does the outside there's also like she noises but look this is silly um, it's very that's kind of specialized people will um, people will run away if they start hearing those things, but there's specific sounds that you can make 
to just tighten different areas of your body. Um, Tidsin, Quen, Iron Wire is a good stuff um, to, to get this. Oh yeah, so anyway, I was talking about um, I was talking about the Iron Palm stuff. So, so look, Iron Palm is just about gradual training and it's about um, consistency. So get yourself a bag full of corn. Get yourself a bag full of mung beans. Get yourself a bag full of rice. Or get yourself a sandbag, yeah? But the sandbag's probably a bit, a bit of a higher stage than those ones, all the same. But it's just because of how much it gives. And mung beans are the best, apparently. And, and just set it down. And, and, you know, do, do the strikes on it in a, in a relaxed way, um, do the strikes um, and, and just gradually allow the bones to densen. Now, this takes a lot of time. We're talking three months, you know, per stage of, of like daily striking. Now, you've got to make it easy on yourself because you won't be able to strike it every day on it. Like I, 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 a few years back, I've had to leave them behind. But, you know, I was striking the steel ball bearing bags. Um, and those are very hard on the body and you have to put did to Joe and you have to do try and do a lot of qigong but even then you have to um, try and eat specific foods to make your nutrients good but but you can do it slower and more calmer and more relaxed than that by just you know going back down a bit Satyam Singh So someone said do some videos on um, the fastest way to do get these conditionings. Um, yeah, I can I can do those. Look, I'm actually. Um, so someone's got so uh, Mr. Mr. Hussein said about said about uh, so, so someone just asked about um, wrist and forearm strength conditioning to make the wrist better. So I'll give you a tip on that. And someone said about the pain. Well, look. Um, when you first start off, the, the, I'll tell you guys here because you're watching. There's a great conditioning method called Twin Locks. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard but easy. Yeah, and it's it's sim similarly done in um, uh, like Mantis style kung fu. They do a lot of bone on bone conditioning. So um, I'll pull this forward. So look, actually, guys, I'm doing a lot more videos and stuff on the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash IBMA. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to make a closed sort of interested community. But having said that, I don't want to leave my YouTube. Or the whole point of the Patreon is to support YouTube. Um, so, so I'm not leaving YouTube behind. I'm just the, the people who are... Um, the people who are supporting it there are getting a few extra videos and a few of this and um, a few of this and that and yeah I've got to do that so so I'm covering these topics on there but it will eventually leach down to YouTube but um, but you know evidently I've got to I've got to um, I've got to help the people out on there you know a bit more because they're supporting me but they are you guys they you are one and the same so thank you know thanks a lot anyway we we're speaking about um, a bit of a a bit of a conditioning method to start off with which is called twin locks so easy it's from the 72 secret arts of Shaolin so look all you do with this but again you it's no magic you're gonna have to do it often you're gonna have to do it every day um, is you start by just hitting your you just tap your wrist together on this bone yeah and you just tap it like this and this is great because you can do this you can do this at home you can do this at work you can do this everywhere um, and it's not that painful, but it's 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 pretty painful, but the pain wears away. So you don't have to bear much pain. The pain is only how much force you put in. But to start off with, you don't put that much force, and you knock the, the, the bones together, yeah, like so, until you hear like a knocking sound. Yeah. Yeah, so, but obviously that takes a while to get, but you'll probably, you might hear it, whatever. So you knock the bones of the arms together, and then you also um, hit, just, you just hit the bones of the hands, and you hit them together like this. Now this might sound, you might think, oh, this is ridiculous and stupid, but this is, um, this is Twin Lock's skill from the 72 Secret Arts of the Shaolin. It's one of the 72 skills. Yeah, and it's just something, or as well, if you're traveling, you can do this skill, you knock your hands together, um, you knock your fingers together. Yeah, Mr. Hussain says it works. Yeah, it really does work. Um, 
Um, and you just, you just knock them together and you, you hit like this. Now this takes me to another thing of like beginning conditioning, like actually striking the skin as a, as a total beginner. It's, it, well, that's basically twin locks, but um, actually striking the skin and the bones. So there's, that's the muscle and this is the bone. So striking the bones um, oh, well, and the hands and the skin together is is a beginning way to start to condition the body and the arms and everything. And, and yeah, twin locks goes onto the shins as well. But what, what you're meant to do is once you're um, once you're trained up a bit, once you once you've done it for a while, and you and you're, I mean, I'm a bit sore today because I've been I've already been doing it on the on the makiwara today. Um, you would you would hit these things. Another thing you'd use, I will I'll show it for you guys here because you you bothered to turn up, but you might use a bundle such as this. So I'll put it here. So, so Mr. Singh's asking, saying he can bear a lot of pain and he just wants the quick way. So I'll get to that in a second, but you get a bundle such as this. So this is some mats. This is some mats um, of bamboo. So just tied together, and then you guys, you can see the idea here. You strike the bones, and you don't. Have, you, you're opening the channels as well, so you don't have to do it hard. But when you start, you just strike the bones, you strike the hands, yeah, and then of course you strike the, the shins, yeah. And the idea is, you know, it's, it's not very fantastic, guys. It's the man who has the perseverance is the one that gets the skill. You know, you, you build on it, you do it every day, you strike these bone areas, yeah, you strike the hands, um, you st strike the body, you strike the back. This is obviously the very beginning level, um, and, but it's a great way, it's like the bamboo brush, yeah, it's similar to the bamboo brush. It's a, it's a bundle, yeah, and you strike the stomach, and then you're starting to develop your, your, your guts for taking, um, Hi uh, hip hop. Uh, uh, hip hop telly tubby. Um, how you doing there, buddy? Yeah. Oh, I'm just giving a bit of a general question and answer. We've got loads of questions ranging from ranging from the Yi Jin Jing, um, the bone and mendon, bone and tendon metamorphosis to iron palm to like some iron body stuff to quite a few. And now we were just talking about just some simple ways to start to condition the body. Um, the great thing with a bundle like this is that. Um, you know, if you're not feeling great, or you're on an off day, or you're on a rest day, you can still use this to train, and it's not too hard. Um, you know, you can you can even train your fists on it. Uh, it's a great beginner tool, but it's it's not only a beginner tool; it's a, just a great tool to keep all the time. You know, I'm all these years down the line, and I've still got my my little bundle that I keep, and you know, you can use it to strike on your body and. I did a video a while back actually, which was off like a full routine. But yeah, look. So, um, training of the neck for bearing a direct kick. There's Mr. Sat well, there's Mr. Satam Singh here. Um, he's asking for, you're asking for some pretty hefty trainings, Pierre Bud. Um, it, all these things are just gradual. That's all that. Uh, well, this is just this is some some placemats. This is bamboo placemats. You know, you, they're about so big they're woven together. It's they're, they're placemats. You know, look like you get from a restaurant or you know little placemats. You buy them cheap in the shop. I've just rolled a couple of them up together and I've duct taped them together to make my bamboo brush. Yeah, and I, I can I can sit in, in I can sit in. Uh, Lotus or whatever in Seiza posture, which is a Japanese sitting posture, um, and I can, you know, I can strike the tips of the fingers, or I can strike the tips of my fingers into it. I can practice this le uh, leopard style strike into there. You can just train your backhand. You can just train the, the bones. You can train the muscles, and you can just sit there. You can do some qi gong on the floor, yeah, and then you can train your, you know, your body, train your breath. Yeah, hit straight, strike the back, and you can you just use it. It's a bit silly, but hey, if you want iron body, um, or you know, I'm not saying I've got iron body, but if you want to condition your body 
to start taking these strikes, then that's the sort of thing you have to do. Um, this this um, this uh, method is also a health giving one because it's not that hard on the body. So so it's meant to open up the channels in your body and sort of promote health and stuff. But you can also use it as a bit of a conditioning method, you know. Um, so look, neck training, uh, the, one of the best ways that I know of neck training is, is bearing weight on your neck, yeah? So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to do things like headstands. So, so um, you know, um, yeah, look, if, if, I, if I put the camera here, you know, we all, you guys probably all know these from yoga and stuff, but if I put the camera here, you know, so you pop yourself down, yeah? And you head headstand so yeah. And you just headstand headstand bearing weight on the neck. Or you do rollings on the neck like this. Yeah. Yeah, but put a put a towel down so that it spreads the load over the head, yeah. Um and then well the other method is doing headstands like actual headstands against the wall, Shaolin style. Oh, there we go. So, sorry. So yeah, there's some, but, but look, I can't, um, I can't fully cover, you know, these whole methods here, but I can certainly take it on board and, and chuck some videos out about different aspects of it. I mean, there's a lot of people asking a lot of questions, which is, which is pretty cool, um, about all these various things. Obviously a lot of interest in it. Um, but, but yeah, uh, oh, what time are we on? I'm going to have to head off soon. Nearly 8 o'clock. So, um, so yeah, um, I think I've probably missed a couple of questions as well there. Okay, someone was asking about bearing uh, hits and strikes to the neck. Well, first you have to strengthen your neck with those sorts of load bearing exercises um, uh, and there's like specific training you know I'm not I'm not a neck strike guru um, but but yeah pretty much if you if you're doing the load bearing exercises on the neck you're going to strengthen the neck a lot I mean when I was doing those more and practicing more iron head stuff my neck was very strong um, and um, yeah it could take some hits um, well, breaking a brick and stuff with your palm um, is, is um, you know, that's just iron, that's iron hand, iron palm training that you're going to have to do. Um, um, well, Hip Hop Telly I don't, know, I don't know if you just saw, I don't do Wing Chun, but I don't know if you just saw today, I was doing some chain punches. Um, so, you know, your speed is going to be developed on your um, fast twitch muscle fibers that you can, that you can develop. Um, so, if you, if you practice your Wing Chun punches with some, with some weights in your hand, um, or, or with weights around your wrists, you know, those wrist weights, um, and just, but, but just, you know, don't, don't like overly try and force it, just let it become let it become natural, you know, so just do you put them on, do you practice, you know, and, and try your whipping motions, try your, your different motions that you do, um, try your different styles of punches and just with these weights on and the weights will it like enforce the muscle fiber and then when you're moving with the weights on, um, it, it recruits more fiber uh, and it'll, the weight increases in weight because when you take a mass and you give it a velocity, it increases, um, you know, the forces acting against you. So that's why traditionally, obviously, martial arts, um, uh, you know, this weighted training has become a, a thing, you know, all through the years. Um, Mr. Singh, uh, yeah, I can break a brick and stuff like that. I mean, there's, there's lots of videos of me on, on this YouTube channel. If you subscribe to it or have a look, there's lots of videos of me breaking bricks and coconuts and rocks and rubbish like that um yeah i was able to do that from the age of 18 you know because it was something i wanted to to sort of prove to myself that i could get you know some some conditioning going and stuff like that so so yeah so so yeah now nah, that's good well
Oh yeah, no worries, hip hop Teletubby. Yeah, well, hopefully the, the way you're training will help you. And just another thing, guys. Um, uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll, uh, someone's asked about yoga, but but just another thing. Um, I'm I'm trying because I'm getting a lot of people saying, look, you know, you know, we. I suppose there's a lot of beginners or whatever, but they're like, we want a syllabus to follow. We want something to follow. Um, you know, like, well, you know, what's some stuff you do, you know, that we could follow to, to, you know, develop the skills. Now I've got, I've got something going on. I've got, I'm trying to put some more stuff on Patreon, but uh, at the moment, um, I, I was, I, I'm working on doing like a syllabus that I'm going to put on Patreon. Um, and, and then, but you know, it's going to be a different tier, but it's going to be people will be able to go there and there'll be like a video on, look, this is all the style. This is all the ways that I would like you to punch. This is all the ways I would like you to be able to kick. This is all the ways, you know, this is a particular strike. This is this particular strike. And unlike my, my videos, most of them here, I'm going to make them short and very, you know, quick ones. So, so that people can, People can, you know, just look at them and if they want to follow like the IBMA Kung Fu way or whatever you want to call it, they can follow that syllabus on Patreon. Um, and obviously they'll have to contribute to that syllabus. That's just, you know, that's just something that supports the YouTube and just makes it worth my time. But they'll, they'll but, but then eventually it'll probably be released onto the normal Facebook. But anyway, it will be a section there. They can follow that whole syllabus from like zero to hero. And my, my plan is hopefully, but it's just a plan. Um, my plan is to like, um, then have the people who are following it, um, then send me the proofs that they can do those things. Um, uh, and then, uh, Yeah, sorry, I was reading a question. Uh, and once the people can provide me the proofs of those things, then I'll send them like a handwritten letter or whatever saying like, look, you've achieved this level. And the idea of the handwritten letter with the sign signature was that it's, um, it's like a personal thing, you know, so it's not about belts, it's not about grades, it's about what the person has achieved. So they're like, look, they're like, look, Brett, I can do, I can do this strike, I can do that strike, it's powerful. Um, it, it's I feel in myself it's efficient and it's practical I can use it that's the main thing can you use it yeah it's not just let's copy some fantastic magic it needs to be powerful it needs to be ingrained in you you need to have confidence in it you can use it so at the different stages uh, and then and then hopefully uh, people will show me the proofs um, and then I will send them the letter uh, as part of this Patreon um, syllabus and they'll be like um, they will be like, um, there we go, uh, you, you know, you've achieved, you know, this stage, this stage, this stage, all the way up to the, 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 um, the iron body, like the conditioning and the qigong and stuff. And just, it'll basically, it's just going to be a syllabus of like what I genuinely actually do, which is pretty much what's on my YouTube channel. But I'm going to try, I'm going to put effort and my time into making it more structured, more quicker, stuff that people can just follow, stuff that they can do quickly without me blabbing on loads. Uh, and then they can send me videos or whatever on there or, or, or post them to me and prove that they can show it. And then I'll be like, right, I recognize for what it's worth. I recognize you as this level. I recognize you as that level. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Um, but um, I mean, let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think about that. Obviously. Um, stuff like that. Um, Mr. Hussein's talking about so so that's something like for instance, Mr. Hussein, you'd, you'd be able to come on, and there'll be you know all sorts. But but you can also look at my channel or you know post me a message. There's all sorts of strength and conditioning trips. Someone's asking me about books. Um, well, I'd say get yourself uh, get yourself the Tid Sin Quen Iron Wire book. Um, that's an awesome book. Get yourself the there's Mantak Chia. Uh, Qi Gong book. He does a good Qi Gong book, Mantak Chia. Um, I'll try and dig out some of my books. Um, there's a great book by uh, on, on Shotokan Karate by Nakayama Sensei, which is a bit of an old book. Uh, he was the only um, Okinawan, uh, sorry, one of the only Shotokan Senseis to achieve ninth dan in his own lifetime. He's um, second from Gishin Funakoshi, who was the founder of Karate. Um, so that's an awesome book. 
Um, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do is a great book by Bruce Lee, if you can grab that one, it's an awesome book. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's another Kung Fu book that I've had for years. And of course, um, The 72 Secret Arts of the Shaolin, um, PDF format of these books. Well, Mr. Singh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not a, um, uh, you know, I, I'm not a book dealer, um, I don't have the, you know, the, the links to these books PDF, They're, you can probably download them online or buy them, um, I'm, I'm not out to kind of sell people stuff and whatever, so um, yeah, you just, I'll, I'll post them up on the Iron Body, Marks facial, Iron Body Martial Arts Facebook page or on Patreon, and um, um, okay bud, well, um, I, I can try and help you out. I can try and help you out with that, but but um, I don't have you know I've got the books, but I don't have them in PDF. So so um, yeah, uh, they're in English as well. Um, uh, what was the first book I mentioned? Uh, tid Tid T I D S I N Q U E N Tid Sin Quen Iron Wire. Um, it's um, you can get it on the Shaolin Kung Fu Library online. Yeah, and it's a fantastic book. You can get it on PDF, or you can get it as a download. It's, um, I think, Northern Shaolin Iron Wire, or Southern, I can't remember. It's Hung Wah, basically. But it deals with the particular kind of breathing for iron wire, um, specific movements, which are like muscle and tendon movements, which is awesome. Uh, and, and it's certainly a, certainly a book that I've based some of the, uh, the core of my Qigong studies on. It's a fantastic book, and if you can learn all 72 um, movements, you'll just turn into a, an iron, iron body beast, but you'll have to practice it. Yeah, it's all about internal breathing and the specific sounds and yada, 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 and all that sort of thing. Um, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's a pretty awesome book. Um, yeah, so, so yeah. Okay, well anyway guys, look, I'm... Uh, I'm off on night shift now. I've got a uh, I've got a city to a city to police. I'm off on to my night shift. Let's hope nothing too crazy happens and people don't cause me too much problems. Um, no worries, Stadium FM. Thanks for thanks for popping by, bud. Um, and thanks for supporting the channel and stuff like that. As always, guys, if you want to support the channel more or whatever, go to patreoncom forward slash IVMA. Um, I'll try and send some. If you contact me, Mr. Singh, see you, mate. If you can't, Miss Blad Houch, if you contact me, um, yeah, if you send me a message through Iron Body Martial Arts Facebook page or something, um, or, or however, drop a message, I can, I can try and help you out with those books. Um, and yeah, it's just, yeah, thanks for popping along, guys. And Natasha Anderson Hunt, yeah, th um, I'm glad you guys, um, valued the chat there um yeah just filled some time um but yeah really appreciate it guys hey look i, I know i keep harping on about freaking patreon um but i'm not uh, just to just to tell you guys look this is this is free um you know i'm not charging anyone for this i don't want to charge anyone um and you know my youtube channel is going to carry on running um, but that's just an extra venue, you know, I'm trying to build like a closed thing there, but, but hey, if no one goes on it, it's, it's fine, you know, it's all cool. This is still going to happen, I'm still going to be here, I'm still going to be training, um, so it's all good, yeah. Um, so yeah, but keep it up, someone actually, before I go, someone did ask me, they said, oh, what other martial arts do you do? Well, I currently run, I don't know if you guys heard of Bajinkan, used to be known as Ninjitsu, but I, I um, I trained for many years in Bajinkan. I'm a black belt in Bajinkan, um, and uh, I'm, I'm currently running a club here uh, where I live um, called Bajinkan Geraldton. Yeah, it's in it's in Australia, Western Australia, Bajinkan Geraldton. So it's it's got a Facebook page, but I'm currently running a club here. There's about six of us at the moment. It's only started a few weeks, but um, I'm I'm also using this club to educate these people. Um, on the wider aspects of like martial arts. So they're coming in for the jujitsu and the bajinkan, uh, but I'm also saying, look man, here's iron body conditioning, here's conditioning, here's this strength training, here's that strength training, um, and we're sort of working on those. So it's pretty cool. So 
So yeah, my time's also spread between the, that, that, um, that jujitsu class basically. Um, but I like to incorporate the Chinese stuff into there too, um, just to give the martial artists who come along like a, a, a well-rounded view of things, you know, I think it's really good. But anyway guys, hey look, thanks a lot guys. Um, you know, appreciate the followers, appreciate everyone. Do, do share the channel, get it, get it out there because um, it makes it worth, worth more my, my while to put things out on here. Uh, but, but don't worry, it's not going anywhere. As I train every day, I'll just keep putting you know, the training on and some advisors. Um, and, um, and yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to do a few more videos about some of this Jake Mace uh, self-defense stuff that he's putting out because, because you know, I don't, I've tried not to get into the argument about Jake, Jake Mace. Um, oh, Egypt, yeah, that's awesome. All the way from Egypt. Um, thank you, Mr. Singh. Um, I'm a very mediocre martial artist, I would say, but um, there's a lot of great martial artists out there. Um, uh, and uh, here's Mr. Sean Simons turned up just as I'm about to go, but hey, bud. Um, but, but yeah, um, yeah, so I'm going to do a few more videos on some of this, because also the knife stuff, look, Jake Mays has been releasing some knife stuff, and like I said, I don't, I don't um, get into the the Jake Mays hate debate, um, but um, but he's releasing now. He's starting to release, or he has been releasing stuff that he's calling self defense. That is like, I mean, I'm a I'm a policeman, um, and this you know the stuff that he's showing not only is like like the kung fu community. A lot of the kung fu community is saying, look, that's not actually the way you're meant to do that specific thing in kung fu. But it, it wouldn't so much matter if they disagreed with his efforts. Uh, but then he's releasing uh, these different methods and they're actually like dangerous for you to try. And like, but there's the odd move that's viable, um, you know, just normal self-defense stuff. But, you know, his general advices on self-defense and stuff are, are, you know, me, I'm just saying to you, me as a police officer, um, I'm a bit, um, I'm a bit like worried about what's being shown, like people are going to get beaten up. The main thing I can say to you guys is, look, if you see a move and you have to move more than your opponent, it's, it's not, it's not going to be viable. You know, like if, if they're doing one punch and you're moving out and doing this big hook hand and twists and, and you know, you, you, you can only do, you've only got as much time as your opponent. You've got like a second, half a second, whatever, 1.2 seconds. So if they do this, you can pretty much only do that. If they do this, you can do that. If they do this, you can, you know, go, go into one of your defensive postures or something like that. You know, you've pretty much only got the same time as your opponent is based on what they're doing. Um, one of the greatest things to do is just to evade, but evade in a defensive posture. You know, so, so obviously you're not just going like this, but you're evading, staying centered, trying to catch the center line, chasing, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's a different story, but, but I just want to say that before I go. But yeah, anyway, guys, I kept rambling again, but sorry about that. Um, there's loads of videos I want to make. Like you guys, every time I chat to you guys, you just keep reminding me of all the topics. Actually, most of the topics you guys mentioned, I've got older videos on if you go back to my channel. Um, but um but yeah they're getting a bit old now so i want to update them you know maybe make them a bit better uh, quality um and, and also my skills have improved so i can offer better advice than i could five years ago um uh, and mr singh yeah i'm from south africa originally i live in australia now um but no i've never been to india i would like to go to india um, um there's an awesome shaolin kung fu sifu in india as well which is great um uh, is it Sifu Sat Satya Singh. Ah, oh, the Mooching King. Oh, welcome. I just subscribed. Oh, hey, the Mooching King. Well, thanks for subscribing. Um, do do guys send me messages? Uh, is it good? Ah, so Zach. Okay, Zach. Before we go, ah, oh, geez, I'm never going to get to work. So a rice bag is great for conditioning, bud. It's absolutely fine. Um, I would even go so far as to say, um, look, if you're using a rice bag and you're using the early stage bags, you don't even need to particularly worry about Dick to Joe. Now, Kung Fu people might attack me for that, but largely I haven't used Dick to Joe for my trainings. 
um, because I couldn't get it. Yeah, but I used other things such as heat rubs, which are less effective but still have some of the desired effect. Um, I would do things like dip my hands in hot soaks of salt water. Um, there's also like Epsom salts that you can dip your hands in. Epsom salts, which is like uh, magnesium sulfate or something, so it goes into the bones. Um, you can do stuff like that, or just hot water. Um, but but yeah, rice bags fine. Now a mung bean bag. Just so you know, before I go, um, apparently mung beans have um, a, a compound in them which is just helps um, the healing process in your hands, and that makes sense because it's a plant compound. So the seed itself will probably have stuff inside it to protect itself and blah blah blah. So so yeah, that's the reason you use mung beans. So if you can get mung beans. Um, get a cotton bag or a sock or a big um, sock or something full of mung beans and chuck them in there. Um, or even better yet, like like my um, I've got my big ch chinna, my chinna iron palm rock bag, um, which is just made from what some of my missus's old jeans, the legs. So I, she got some old jeans and I cut the bottom off and tied it, filled it with rocks and just tied it at the top. And then you've got a great bag. Either to put anything in um, and it doesn't cost you anything or go to shops and buy a cheap pair of jeans or if you get these you know these semi flexible pairs of jeans that are like a little bit flexy you can use that but but a cheap oh nasty old pair of jeans works fine um, uh, obviously they're difficult to tie so you'll have to you'll have to like a sweet you'll have to twist it and tie it with rope on either end but but hey that that works great man um, don't don't underestimate the power of duct tape duct tape the shit out of stuff at the ends round but but yeah you know chuck your mung beans in there and it'll be great for your iron hand training and and lastly just don't rush yourself with that just 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 do your training let the let the let the months go by and the skills will come yeah you can't uh, so someone was asking me before i think it was mr singh he was saying look what's the quickest best way to do it there, there's no quick way unfortunately your bones just take a long time to densen they take a long time to toughen i i've been training martial arts for 20 20 years um uh, i started when i was three years old but i've been i've been i'm 31 now and i've been doing my conditioning trainings since the age of um about 14 15. Yeah, so that's like 15 something years and I'm crap. Yeah, I should be way better than I am. I'm disappointed in myself. I've done 15 years. Um, I, should, I should really be at master level, um, you know, because it's five years for young master. Um, if you read the 72 Secret Arts of the Shaolin, five years for young master, 10 years to have like mastered the method and the technique. But evidently, I haven't been training far, uh, hard enough because um, even what I've achieved to this date isn't good enough um, comparatively to what um, the written texts say. So, so yeah. But anyway, well, we're, we're each and all of us only human. Um, but anyway, guys, look, that's me done. I'm going to genuinely and 100% have to go um, and get to work and try and deal with these idiots that cause problems out in the streets and stuff. But, um, but yeah, hey, it's been great chatting to you guys. Or thank you for coming on to the thing uh, and uh, supporting the channel. If you're newly subscribed, thanks a lot. Uh, check out patreon.com uh, forward slash IBMA. Check out... Um, uh, all the stuff and Blair, Mr. Blair Howge, um, Mr. Hussein, Zach. Um, if you guys come on to Fa if you come on to Patreon or the Iron Body Martial Arts Facebook page, you can follow them without paying anything because you know they're, they're also you can follow them. But do send me messages, guys, like with your training. Because one thing I wanted to say is not enough people send me like their progress in their training. Um, you know. Um, Yeah, those guys are amazing. Kashika Sharma, uh, yes, yeah. I do, you know, I've seen him. I've seen his stuff, and he's trained in in Kali and Arnis, and and he just what an awesome guy. What an awesome martial artist. If I ever came to India, I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to spend some years training with the guy, you know. But you know, unfortunately, I can't. I'm here for the time being. But anyway, guys. Ah, oh, yeah. So yeah, but so so blah howge. This thing I'm going to set up on Patreon with the syllabus thing, that might be a, a way for you if you haven't started any training. You know, so if you like this sort of stuff 
and you think, oh, I want to take things in this, you know, like the idea is it, the idea with IBMA or Iron Body Martial Arts or what I'm trying to do is it's, it's not like the most basic level, it's not like the most advanced level, but it's a good, um, it's a good uh, slope whereby someone can come in and they can be like, man, yeah, you know, I can, I don't just have to train kicks and punches, you know, there's, there's more I can get. I can get, um, I can get the chi gungs, I can get the sort of tendon, I can get the flexibility, I can start to develop skills that are maybe um, a bit stronger than just your average sport martial arts um, sort of person. Do you get what I mean? Like, because you can definitely tell a difference, but that doesn't mean you're any better or worse at fighting or whatever, but, but just, you know, you can develop like a bit of a, a good level of toughness. Um, you know, like, or maybe you can develop the same level of toughness as someone who's always fighting in competitions and sparring and stuff, and you haven't had to do those things, yeah? So, you know, the conditioning and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, I've got to go now, um, but, but yeah, awesome. You have a good one, have good training, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Lots of cool things to come.